Today we're hosting the science fair for Garina Noha's grade 5, 6 students. It's our 11th year participating in the Aboriginal science fair. You can see uh, projects from hearing, from uh, volca underwater volcanoes, um, there's a trust bridges, our, the language, a whole smorgasbord of uh, different ideas. Uh, students were allowed to choose the types of projects, whether it was a study, experiment, and innovation. But today you'll see projects on experiments and studies. The reason why I chose this project was because when I was looking through, like, uh, ideas I seen underwater volcanoes and they they looked pretty interesting so I just wanted to see what they actually like do and and I found out that like they make crystals and they make islands like one is Hawaii that an underwater volcano made in Greenland. The students were told in the end of November, November 30th to be exact, to start thinking about an idea that they would like to explore. So it should be something that they were interested in. So they, the hardest part is finding an idea. So once they narrowed that down, we came up with uh, their questions, what they wanted to find out more about the topic, and then formulating a hypothesis. So throughout the Christmas holidays, they had time to reflect on the, on the project itself and where they were going to go with it. I chose this project because in Jordodu, uh, we, we use solar power at, at our cabin. And I like this project uh, because it causes no pollution to Mother Earth. And, and it gives you uh, electricity when needed and uh, running water. So today I'm, I'm judging the science fair and we're basically using the form that we used uh, that actually the Aboriginal science fair uses. We're using the same type of form because this is what they'll be judged on as well when they attend the Aboriginal science fair. And you're basically, basically looking for all the elements that go into um, a science fair project like uh, the hypotheses and the purpose and the method and the data you Used. Uh, also, you're, we're looking for originality. Are any of the science fair projects original? And uh, besides um, uh, a lot of elements included in the science fair project, we also look for written data. So all these components we add up together and that's how we score uh, each student. The purpose of this project was to educate st other students about pollution and because I wanted to learn about pollution and why the Montreal government would even want to dump the pollution in the water in the first place. For my results is that the, the pollution did have an effect on the water quality and that if you have a cut on your hand and like you swim in the water you will get like the, pollu the pollution into your hand or the pollution could get into your ears, your nose, your mouth. Just respect our waters and stop polluting because all of the water that's being polluted we end up drinking from our houses.